Hey guys, it's Steve. So welcome back to another weekly grill dome video. So today I'm going to show you how to take some leftover brisket and make some smoked brisket stuffed bell peppers on the grill dome. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so with stuffed bell peppers, you can really stuff these guys with whatever you want to. I smoked a brisket the other day, and I'll have a, a link pop up here if you want to go check out that video. But I had some leftovers, and so I just kind of chopped it up. And then I've got some cream cheese and some freshly shredded white cheddar, and then just some, uh, some sharp cheddar over here. And I've also got a little bit of barbecue rub. So uh, I'm not... I'm gonna use all this cheese here. I probably shredded up a little bit too much, but basically we're just gonna uh, take all these ingredients and uh, mix them up together. Okay, so I've got our cheese and brisket all mixed together. Uh, I ended up using my hands for that. It's a lot easier just to get in there and mix it all together. So you kind of have this, uh, all the uh, shredded cheese, the cream cheese and the brisket just all nice and uh, blended well together there. So you're just gonna I have a pan here with some water. It's gonna uh, help uh, to keep these peppers from burning. And we're just gonna go ahead and take our mixture and just stuff it in just like this. All right, and there we go. So that's all you're looking for. Now I have some extra uh, white cheddar that I left aside because about 15 minutes before these are done, I'm gonna cover these so we have a nice cheesy melted top on these. So these are ready for the grill dome. Okay, so we've got our grill dome set up for an indirect cook with our grill dome indirect cooking rack in the down position and a grill dome ceramic stone on top. Now all we're gonna do is install our main cooking grate. And then I want these peppers to be up high, so I'm gonna install our extender rack all right, and then we're just gonna set our peppers right on top. Now I've got the dome um, right in at about 300 degrees, and so we're gonna let these go anywhere between 30 minutes and an hour. I'll check on in about 30, 30, 40 minutes. Take a peek. All right, guys, it has been 45 minutes, and these are getting really close to being done, so I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this leftover white cheddar cheese and just top the rest of these. So this will be a nice golden brown cheese topping on these stuffed bell peppers here. So we'll be back in a few minutes. Alright, it's been another 15 minutes, so this has been a total cook time of one hour. I just checked on them a couple minutes ago. These guys are done. Look at that. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. So we're going to go ahead and pull these. Uh, they're incredibly, incredibly hot. The, the cheesy mixture on the inside. So we need to let these kind of sit and, uh, and rest for about 5-10 minutes. And uh, we'll pick back up in the kitchen and dig into these. Alright, so I've let these rest about 5 minutes. Gosh, man, these look absolutely gorgeous. So let me go ahead and just cut this red one straight down the middle. <clears throat> and show you guys what we ended up with here. Oh my gosh. Check that out. Look at that. Woo! Alright. Let's go ahead and dig into this. Now this is going to be a little sloppy when you start eating these, but it is what it is. The idea is just to get all this goodness together. Here we go. Check that out right there. Mm. Oh my gosh, that is so, so good. I'll tell you what, I've made a lot of atomic buffalo turds uh, in the past and some about just the way the brisket and the um, both uh, the sharp cheddar, the white cheddar, and the cream cheese, uh, just the way it goes together with these bell peppers. This is just so good. Got that nice smoke flavor on there. So super quick and easy recipe for using some of your leftover brisket. 
and uh, total prep time, you know, is just about a couple minutes. Cook time was an hour. So definitely try these out. Let us know what you think. And um, check us out on uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And uh, again, keep in mind we have a new video every Friday. So thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you again soon.